gotten uh, quite a few questions recently on belly fat, and that's an important question to ask because, I mean, don't you think it's rare not to have belly fat? You know, so let's think about it. What is it? Why is it so bad? Other than it doesn't fit well in fashionable clothing. Um, um, belly fat, um, and accumulates more, men get belly fat more than women because uh, male, female, and this has to do with hormones, um, deposit fat and muscle in different areas. That's why men can work out and get a bigger pump than a woman can because of hormones. And the same thing with fat. With women, the fat will develop back in, in their back and their, in their butt and their thighs uh, more than their, uh, their belly. But eventually women will get belly fat. But anyway, fat around the midsection is called central adiposity. Adipose is, is the word, is the medical term for uh, fat cells. Uh, adiposity is a condition, a state of being fat. So central adiposity, which is the center part of your body, is a reflection of what's going on inside. If you dig deep in and you go past the fat, past the muscles, into the organs, you'll find that there's fat also around the organs. This is a problem. And um, uh, the reason it's a problem is because this fat is being picked up by the organs, and then the organs have to process it. And one of the um, uh, metabolic intermediates uh, results in something called CRP, C-reactive protein. C-reactive protein is a general inflammatory marker. So basically, sent, uh, having fat around your organs is causing um, inflammation. Now, why is inflammation bad? And wait, let's not use the word bad. Let's use the word, why is it uh, not in our best interest? Why is it that it detracts from health, etc.? Like a bad and good are terms that need to be eliminated, you know? There's nothing bad or good, everything just is. Um, um, it exists and it either is useful or not useful. And if we look at it pr more practically like that, it's, it's easier to deal with. So, um, uh, but inflammation, there's two kinds of inflammation, chronic inflammation and acute inflammation. In, um, uh, acute inflammation is necessary. You bang your finger, it, it needs to get, gets red hot, swollen and painful, and it heals and you're done, that's good. I keep banging my finger, it's chronic inflammation. I start to develop calluses, the bone grows, etc. You get all this problem. So chronic in inflammation turns out to be the underlying pathology in all diseases. And we'll talk again at another time about the reason I quoted diseases is because there's no such thing as disease. It's a myth <clears throat> that you need to run away from, escape, because this is what the doctors use, the medical profession uses to lure you in. You know, it's, it's kind of like primitive voodoo type stuff, which I'll explain in another time. But anyway, um, so fat around the organs causes inflammation in the organs, and then they, they send it out in the blood, and you wind up with a chronic inflammatory condition, which is going to lead to everything you can think of from strokes, heart attacks, can cancer, etc. So, um, now, the, realize that the belly fat is a reflection of that. It's kind of like the mirror. So if you have belly fat, you know you've got fat around your organs. So, um, and in fact, what they, there was an interesting um, a study done where they took a group of people that were very obese, I mean, like morbidly obese, and they did two things. One group, they did <coughs> liposuction, just removed the fat. The other group, they actually opened them up, got to the organs, removed the fat around the organs, closed them up, did not do liposuction. So they still had the appearance of being obese, whereas the others didn't. And they found that the ones where they removed the fat from around the organs, their blood pressure got better, their, uh, their, 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 uh, their diabetes got better, uh, the coronary arteries started to clear up. So all of, the, all of the, the bad effects from being fat are not necessarily from what we see, but on the internal reflection of it, So, um, which is a very interesting thing to understand. So. Why is yo-yo dieting not work, not good, not worth it? Because when you lose weight and then gain weight, you never have a chance to lose the internal stuff. So you haven't done anything except suffer, 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 suffer. So, um, um, so in order, you have to lose the fat and keep it off for at least six, nine, 12 months to change your, to change your internal um, adiposity. Um, so anyway, the, uh, how would you recommend losing belly fat? Okay, so so the, the uh, so how do we how do we lose 
belly fat. It's really hard. I've been trying, I've been working out and stuff like that. Well, fat, you have to understand, fat is what the body produces from carbohydrates, sugars. Fat does not come from fat, okay? You can eat fat and you won't get fat. You eat carbs, you can get fat. You eat too much protein, you can get fat. Protein can become sugar and carbs become sugar. So, um, and just basically to keep in mind, you eat a Snickers bar, it goes up, your sugar, blood sugar goes up and down. You eat a bowl of pasta, your blood sugar goes slowly up. So, you get worse, you have a bunch of worse consequences from eating um, cooked, cooked carbs. So, there's the answer. Stop eating cooked carbs for a while. Give yourself a deadline, make it 90, 120, or 180 days. If you're really a carb addict, which 99.9% um, uh, .9 of us are, then uh, you wanna give yourself 180 days of no cooked carbs. That means bread, rice, potato, pasta, and uh, bread, rice, potato, pasta, and of course any cakes or anything like that. No processed sugars. So you can eat fruit, you know, you can eat things like that. Don't eat the dried fruits like dates and figs, but eat fruits um, uh, and you'll get, car I mean, it, spinach has carbs. Everything has carbs. You don't have to worry about not getting enough carbs, not getting enough energy. Um, but anyway, cooked carbs uh, are, because what happens the way the body works is once you've exceeded your, uh, your glucose requirements, because the reason we eat carbs is because what a carb is, is it's glucose molecules strung together. So the body breaks them down and then uses them. Once you exceed your biological requirement, it, they get stored. They get stored as triglycerides. And um, so you make fat from carbs, not from fat. Uh, fat gets burned or eliminated. Um, so anyway, how, that, that's how we do it. So, so you restrict that. So you do this for at least 120 days to 180 days. But the reason you do it for so long is because you begin to chisel away and limit the real adversary, the real enemy. And the real enemy is called appetite. And appetite is why we all eventually get buried or burned, depending on what part of the world you live. Um, that's why we die. Appetite is our nemesis. Um, and it's very subtle. <clears throat> It'll say things like, what are you doing? You need to eat. Come on, you gotta eat. And your friends are saying, come on, man. And so appetite buys into that. You know, I'm hungry, I didn't eat, I'm starving. If you wanna see starving, go to Somalia. You know, go to a country where you see some starving. In fact, if any American says I'm starving, they should be slapped. You have to understand that. Okay, you can't say you're starving. It's, it's you should shrink in shame and hide in the corner. Okay, you're not starving. Okay, don't ever say that. Especially if you meet me, please. So, um, but anyway, so, by eliminating that, and exercise is important, yeah, exercise is very important, but you can't, you know, I, I see these people at the gym and my, like, I, you know, I wanna cry for them, because I know they're like, mm, 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 and they go out and eat whatever, like, whatever they, you know, it's like, oh, what? You know, it's insane. Um, you know, you can't work out and then, and you'd be surprised how little calories you burn when you work out, if you, if you know, it's gonna really make you crazy. And that's why I look at people, and I see people jogging with sweats on, they look, you know, oh, they're miserable. I have to stop eating. You can do that on your couch, it's easy. So, uh, you don't have to work out. But if you work out now, when you lose the fat, you'll now redistribute uh, to muscles and you'll gain muscle, you'll get the body you're looking for. Uh, and by the way, uh, if it's vanity that gets you in the door of health, that's beautiful. Whatever it takes to get you in the doorway of health is worth it. So, and vanity is usually the one. And the reason I say that, can you imagine how many gyms would keep their membership if they took all the mirrors off the wall? None. Except, you, you know, you might have a few hippies in there. But um, other than that, everybody's in there. You know, you know, looking at themselves and all that. I mean, that's what they're there for. You know, it's another way to meet people, right? Um, so, anyway, uh, that's the thing about belly fat. It's not the belly fat, it's what's inside. But the belly fat is an indication that you got a problem and you got to get rid of it. Mm -hmm.